and then uh, set up Blender to use the nodes and the cycles rendering uh, for the model. Uh, basically, I've been doing things a little differently recently. I've been creating my models from scratch and uh, using reference images and building the mesh up. Um, but there's a great bit of software out there for those people who just want a quick model to to chuck into Blender. Um, so basically, you you got a default model. Um, I'm just gonna uh, make it male and have done with it. That's all I'm gonna do with the actual. Uh, shape of the model. Uh, I don't need to do anything else for this. Um, so the next part would be to go into the library and then to click clothes. I'm going to give it a default clothes. There's a, a selection of clothes but I'm just going to work with this. Um, there is a few bugs. It is alpha. It is version 1. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a problem because you can edit the shapes and sizes later in Blender once you've exported. So the next step would be to go to files and then export. I'm going to call this man uh, underscore v1. Uh, you know, that's that's the, my ma naming convention for it. And then I'm going to pick Collada. Uh, the reason I pick Collada is is compatible with various different game engines, uh, Shiver for example, and uh, all the textures and everything are packed with it. And I've not had any real issues with exporting. Um, or importing into Blender or out of Blender. Um, so once that's done, you've got your name set. Uh, you just click on Export, and there we go. Uh, it tells you where it's stored. It by default it is the users username, documents, make human, exports. Um, so just remember that directory. Right, that's it for that. We're done with uh, make human now. So you can close that. If it, yeah, come on. There we go. Right, so next step, um, I've actually just unplugged one of the drives, so I'm just going to use this version that's on my desktop, not got a clue which one it is, uh, oh 2.69, awesome. So first of all, um, I've from the last tutorial I've got a default cube in there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, so click file and then import and collada DAE and then navigate to um, where it stored it in my case um, it is users James documents make human exports and then man v1 and it will be labeled the same as uh, the folder hopefully and then you import Collada and there you go it's imported uh, that's the model yeah it looks like a wire mesh and it's a mess which is uh, pretty normal um, so um, one thing I will point out just now, uh, whilst I've got time, um, with this version, uh, exporting with Collada seems to bring through the armature and rigging, um, so it's actually a quick way of getting uh, a human rig in there, which I've not previously noticed in the uh, earlier versions. I've been making these rigs myself um, and still experimenting with them because they're, to be honest, rather complex. Um, but that's not the point of that, I digress. Um, so what we're going to do now is, I've got it on GPU compute, that's good, cycles render, I'm just checking settings because I've, uh, I've just been messing around with benchmarks. Um, so to set up the materials, um, it, you need to click on the materials, the little uh, material globe, and you need to tell it to use node. And we're going to do this for every mesh that's imported. Um, I don't know of a different way of doing it uh, currently, um, but I'm, I'm sure with it, with time there'll be uh, uh, some sort of import that does this. Uh, but I, I I don't think it's possible at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna click rendered to give you an idea of what the uh, first output will be um, in the cycles rendering engine. So as you can see. Um, it's just the plain white diffuse. Right, now we've got that set. Um, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to open up the node editor, um, which you can select from the menu, and you'll see that there is the default bidirectional surface um, diffuse functions attached to the surface. That's fine, we're just going to override those. Um, I don't know whether you should have the diffuse in there or not, but um, this is a simple way of doing it. Um, insert uh, an image texture um, which is add texture 
image texture drop the node in there and then attach the color to color and you'll see the uh, for the body mesh that we're working on at the moment it's gone that wonderful crazy pink it's actually quite a cool pink um, so then we need to select the textures so next to the open button select from the drop down um, menu and for this one it's just going to be texture and you can see um, now the uh, the textures imported uh, not imported the texture that was imported is now applied to the diffuse instead of the default color for the surface uh, complex or no but basically you can see the, the the chain of events there color to color into uh, the surface so next step is to do the same with all the different uh, meshes that have been imported so that's going to be the shirt which is going to be shirt texture in this case uh, what's next oh yeah the uh, t-shirt so add texture image texture drop it uh, color to color for the link for the um, diffuse function and that's going to be the short t short sleeved t-shirt um, underneath the mesh uh, the t-shirt the mesh um, next is the jeans so again texture image texture drop the node in link the node and then link the texture which will be uh, jeans in this case so jeans and then for the trainers or shoes whatever whatever you want to call it footwear uh, and then image texture join them up again and then uh, classic shoes right okay so that's the textures all fine and dandy and yeah the the mesh is exported but you kind of expect that from a, a bit of alpha software um, you know it doesn't it, it doesn't take long to uh, to rectify um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the uh, inner mesh across the x-axis until uh, it almost disappears and then I'm going to scale across the x-axis which is width in this case and there we go that's, you know there's a there's a slight bit of foot that's uh, just creeping out but uh, I suppose you could just scale those a little bit um, yeah that'll do for now you know edit that sort of stuff out later um, it's not the point of this tutorial um, so we've got all the textures in and that's that's about it really I mean yeah that shirts creeping through the uh, the other shirt but you, you can either scale it down shrink wrap modify it sculpt it move it to a different layer I'm just going to move it to a different layer um, for the purpose of this um, and there you go that's how you get a make human character into blender and a simple cycles rendering setup um, you, obviously you can apply much more into the nodes um, like procedural textures or extra image textures and blend them together and you know blow your mind with textures um, so that's that I uh, hope you've liked that tutorial I hope it's uh, been good for you and uh, please rate and subscribe um, leave any comments in there and sorry about saying the word um too much I'm just doing things fast at the moment um, <laughs> enjoy